Hey everybody, welcome back to the Seesaw and another grocery haul. Um, so today, it, I hope you're enjoying some of this beautiful weather because it's absolutely beautiful out there today. We've had a football match <coughs> that didn't start until 11. So Tony came and met us when he got off, off of work, saw the end of the football match. We then grabbed some lunch in town and then Caleb and I went and got the shopping on our way home just to avoid coming home and then having to go back out again and then just your whole day is kind of taken with driving backwards and forwards. So we've been to Tesco's just because it was on the way home. Um, I did still have my second 10% off Big Shop uh, coupon for the month. So I've used that today. It rang up at 120, 120 pounds and then we got 11 pounds off with our 10%. So it came down to just under 110 pounds that I paid. Um, so definitely over a hundred pounds and there was a couple of things I couldn't get so they had no lettuce no herbs no cucumbers and all the salad -y bits were gone I don't know if it's because of the nice weather or because there's a shortage of salad stuff I don't know which it is um, I'm assuming it may be because people have brought it up to have picnics and um, barbecues and things like that this weekend um, so I did, couldn't find what I needed for that and they had no salmon and I wanted some salmon for a meal this week so I'll have to pick that up at one of the other stores or pop back in later in the week I don't want it until the end of the week so I've got some time to go back and get that um, but in general quite expensive although I did buy a couple of things for Mother's Day um, and I bought an Easter egg ready for Easter for Caleb he picked out the one he wanted so and they were on special they were reduced from I don't know what it was it was like they should have been five they're five pound size eggs and they were down to 350 I think that's what it was um, and so I know that when we come up to just before Easter, they'll be back up in price again. So £110-ish, quite an expensive shop for us, but I did get quite a lot and I'm, I'm okay with, with what we spent. So let me turn you around, let me show you what I got and then at the end, as always, I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. So there is the sweep of everything. You can see it, it was quite a big, a big haul. Um, but and a few bits that wouldn't normally buy and, and between them I've probably added 10 12 pounds to the to the overall cost so I've got a card for Mother's Day I've got a TV magazine some milk tray I have already got my mum um, a, a top so there's a, a shop near us at work that sells some lovely tops of the kind that my mum really likes to wear and I know that sounds weird but you know when they get to a certain age she's in her 80s and there's just certain styles and colours and things that she likes. And this particular shop always has a good range. And it's not a shop that she gets to or gets to go to. So it's always something that she hasn't seen before. And she quite likes, I've, I've been probably for the last couple of years, buying her one with her birthday, a couple at Christmas and one for Mother's Day. So I got that for her and I've got her a puzzle book. She likes to do word search puzzles. So I've got her one of those, got cards and then I've got some milk tray to enjoy as well. This is the Easter egg that Caleb picked out, the Reese's one. And see, it's quite a big egg and it's got the three mini eggs in the bottom there. Um, and that was £3.50 and they should have been £5. I had a couple of packs of multi-surface wipes, some kitchen towel. I got two of the shower sprays. Caleb's just gone to have his shower and he's taken his with him. So um, just trying to get him into the habit. Now he has his own shower at this house to... Uh, to spray it after he's had a shower every time so that makes when we come to do the cleaning it's not quite so lime scaly and soap scummy um some of the little treats that licky has he's been completely out half a dozen eggs a best of both or both together bread kayla picked out some of the pitch uh, brioche with the chocolate filling for a breakfast for him this week and then I treated myself to a couple of almond croissants. I haven't had them for a while and that's going to be my breakfast for rugby morning tomorrow morning. Uh, these were three little boxes of these mini eggs for one pound I think it was or one pound twenty. Um, so Caleb's got three of those. I also bought some packages of the mini eggs because I'm going to do some baking with those um, this afternoon if I can get around to it this afternoon. If not it'll be tomorrow. Some millionaire bites for a sweet treat, some milk chocolate chips, some walnut halves, a couple more packs of these isotonic sports drinks for Caleb. He picked out the Tango Dark Berry for his fizzy drink for this week. With our big fridge that we've got here, um, 
it has an ice maker in it so we have ice on hand which the boys both love and uh, we can put the big bottles of drinks in there and so Caleb's quite enjoying having ice with some out of a bottle rather than buying the cans so these do work out more cost effective some mini marshmallows and some digestive biscuits I'm actually with the marshmallows the digestives the milk chocolate chunks I'm going to do some schmores baked oats for my breakfast this week so that's what those are for some jalapeno slices a hot salsa already talked about the mini eggs a couple of packages of taco seasoning a peri peri bag and bake that's the nando's one they were on special price i think they were a pound four chicken stock pots two packages of maryland cookies still at the moment caleb's favorite cookie a couple of tomato passatas some shell pasta two packages of the tortilla chips these are like the doritos cool ranch ones um these are the tesco version of those we wanted just plain tortilla chips but the tesco brand which is the only ones they had were all kind of crunched up and i want them for kind of scooping and serving with stuff this week so i just felt they were all crushed if i was going to use them to sprinkle on the top of something they would have been perfect but they were a bit too crushed so we've gone with the cool ones some wheat crunches caleb hasn't had those for a while so he picked those for his crisps two tubs of sour cream some stalk for baking the big packs of smoothies so this is 10 packs of smoothies uh they were on special they were five pounds instead of seven i think they are normally and so they we got the 10 pack because it was more cost effective a large tub of the onken zero percent fat vanilla yogurt some low-fat cream cheese a butter some grana padano some chili cheese mix and a mature cheddar Caleb picked out some pepperami um, chorizo flavoured. He picked a macaroni cheese for his Wednesday night um, before football meal. And then he got two more of the corner yogurts, the chocolate, the milk chocolate digestive one and the banana chocolate flakes. I've got a large milk this week, a four pinter. I usually only have two, but I'm making some things that need milk. And so I've just gone aired on the side of caution and got the bigger, the bigger pot. Or the bigger jug some curly fries onion rings garden peas and green beans for the freezer uh caleb picked out two sorts of lollies this week the lemonade lollies which i love these the they properly taste like a nice glass of iced lemonade and some knobbly bobblies both of these had club card pricing as did these the southern fried chicken thigh fillet burgers we like the aldi version of these so we're going to have chicken burgers this week so we're going to give those a try Mince, I got a small package of the 2% fat mince and a large package of the 7% fat. I've got a small chicken, I'm going to, a small two pack of chicken breast. I'm going to make some chicken soup for me for, it's going to, it's supposed to turn cold again this week. So I'm going to have some, uh, make up some chicken and vegetable soup to have for my lunches. And then I've got some chicken thigh fillets, the skinless and boneless. Uh, two packages of the, um, garlic ki chicken kicking chicken kievs they had the cheese ones cheese and bacon or the garlic but the garlic had a club car pricing on so we went with those fruits and veg i've got some norfolk keeper baby potatoes some baby cucumbers because they didn't have the long cucumbers carrots i got this bag of mixed leaf salad because they didn't have any lettuce at all for licky and and he is completely out so i needed something that would do for dinner tonight and breakfast tomorrow and these are just leaves of the sorts of lettuces he quite likes so i think he'll be okay with those i've got a small cabbage to use in that chicken soup I've got some tender stem broccoli and a normal head of broccoli this was the only lettuce they had and it was the butterhead lettuce which i quite like for having lettuce with stuff or having lettuce like in when we have chicken burgers and things like that um but it's not it's not ideal for licky it's not crunchy and crispy enough for him so i will use that for us and then tony will try to find some either romaine or little gem lettuce during the week a red pepper uh three onions some mini corn cobets uh just a single orange i've got some easy peelers satsumas um, and I wanted to use some orange peel and orange juice in something I'm making later in the week. And so I just bought a single orange, a pack of bananas and a pot of strawberries. So that was the haul. Looking at our meal plan for this week. Tonight we're going to have piri piri chicken, 
So I'm going to use the Nando's bag mix and the chicken thighs, or chicken thigh fillets. I have that with some chips, onion rings, the corn on the cob and the broccoli, tender stem broccoli. Tomorrow we'll have the chicken Kievs with new potatoes and peas. We've got a rugby match in the morning and it's Mother's Day, so nice simple dinner. Um, if it is still nice, we might be able to eat outside tomorrow because the clocks go forward in the UK tonight. So it'll be light much later, starting next week. Taco pasta casserole on Monday. So that just uses the mince or some of the mince. Uh, some of the taco seasoning, pasta, passata, that sort of stuff with chili cheese mix on the top. And we'll have that with some of those Doritos on the side or the uh, tortilla chips. Chicken burgers and salad on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I, um, I have to go on the road for work Wednesday, about a three and a half hour drive each way. So seven hours of driving, a couple of hours of meetings. So I've decided we'll have a takeout on Wednesday night because I won't feel like cooking when I get home. Thursday is when we were going to have the baked salmon with rice and veg. And that salmon that I do with a kind of parmesan and herb crust on the top, I'm just bake the whole side of salmon and cut it up and have it with rice and vegetables. So I'll need to pick up some salmon. I can look for some on Thursday. And on Friday, we're going to have cheesy mince and rice with tortilla chips. That's... Um, it's a bit like the taco pasta casserole, except it's not taco seasoned. It's just some seasoned up mince cooked with the rice all in one pot and you put some cheese through it. And again, we'll have that almost like um, nachos. So almost like a cheesy, meaty mixture with tortilla chips. And so that will be our with rice as well. And that will be our Friday night supper. So that is our meal plan for the week ahead. Thank you for joining us for this look at our groceries and meal plan and we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon.